Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Dave from Tekandroid and today in this video, we're going to take a look at Lineage OS 14.1 ROM for the Xiaomi Rebi 4 aka the Rebi 4X. So well, if you are wondering why am I making this video again because I have already made a video on Lineage OS 14.1 ROM for the Rebi 4. Well, it's because in this ROM, the developer has fixed both the VOLT and the recent apps bug which were present in the previous build. And unlike other Nougat ROMs including the old Lineage OS ROM, here you don't need to flash the firmware file if you are coming from Marshmallow ROM. So yeah, that's another benefit. So now in order to install the ROM, your device needs to have TWRP recovery installed. So if you haven't already, as always, links for tutorial videos will be in the description below and in the cards right here. So check it out. So now you need to download two zip files, the ROM and the Google Apps zip file and links for both the zip files will be in the description below. So download it and place it in the internal storage or in the SD card of your device. Now power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up, down and the power button all together at the same time. So once in recovery mode, select wipe and swipe to wipe. Now select install, select the ROM file and swipe to flash. Now select the Google Apps zip file and swipe to flash. And now select reboot system. So as always, the first boot takes a lot of time. Just sit back. So lately in the comment section of my previous custom ROM videos, a lot of you guys have been saying that you are not able to boot into recovery mode after installing any custom ROM. Well, it's because a lot of you guys are using the old or the traditional volume up and power button combination to boot into TWRP recovery but in Redmi 4 the combination for booting into TWRP recovery is volume up, down and the power button at the same time so yeah I just want to clear that up. So now the device has booted up so let me set it up and I'll be back. So now I have finished setting up the ROM and the ROM is almost completely bugless except for IR Blaster but according to the developer and some of the people who use this ROM, even IR Blaster is working for them but I couldn't get it to work. I tried both Mi Remote and Peel Smart Remote app but neither of them worked for me. I guess just like in fingerprint scanner there's some kind of difference in IR Blaster, I don't know. It does not work for me let me know in the comments below if it works for you now moving on to the rom as you guys can see vlt works absolutely fine so let me show you by making a call using geosam of course so as you guys just saw vlt works absolutely fine on this rom so you don't need to use geo 4g voice or anything like that and even the recent apps button works absolutely fine. Uh, by default, the recent apps action is assigned to long press of the recent apps key, but you can reassign it by simply going on to the buttons menu in the settings option. So, so yeah, everything works fine, guys. So this is in fact one of the best Nougat based ROMs available for the Remi 4 right now. And this is also the only custom ROM with working Vivo LTE available for the Remi 4 right now. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Link is in the description below. And just like I said earlier, check 
if Aya Blaster works for you and and report back in the comment section below. And so yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, go down and hit the like button and for more videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notification as soon as I put up another video. And I will see you guys later. See ya.